I encourage you to join me in exploring the other side of the coin. Business through the eyes of the Torah. We have different stages in our growth. At school, we're primarily discovering ourselves, who we are, what makes us different, what's unique about us. Then we enter into an incredible time in Yeshiva, where we're learning how to learn. We're developing a love for Torah, a cheshivas for Torah, that hopefully when we leave it, we want Torah to be the absolute central backbone of our entire lives. And then we enter the workplace, totally unprepared. I know myself, I could only describe the experience as a soldier going out to war. The officer comes to you and says, here's your gun, out you go, see you in 40 years. No one explained to me who's the enemy, who's on our side. What are we trying to achieve here? What's the goal of the war? When will the war actually be over? What's the purpose? Who sent me? And so I entered the workplace as an Avreich in a very foreign world with no idea why I was there and what I was doing. And I had many, many, many questions. And those questions began a journey for me through Torah, trying to find the answers. Through Chumash, Mishnayis, Gemara, Rishonim, Achronim. Questions which gnawed at me and I'm sure gnawed at you. Why do I have to work? Why does Hashem want me to work? If I'm supposed to be samach bechelko, happy with what I have, where's the place for ambition in business? Is there a place for ambition in business? Is that allowed? How much money is enough? If my livelihood's fixed for me from Rosh Hashanah to Rosh Hashanah, what's the point of working in the first place? And if I do have to work, well, how hard do I have to work in order to make what's set aside for me? And if I do have to work, then what does it mean to do business with Bitochen? What, how does Bitochen affect my work if at the end of the day I've got to work hard to make my livelihood? I know I have to give to Docker, that's important, but where do I have to give it to? How much do I have to give? All these and more I hope to share with you through the 12 to 15 minute Batsa Shiurim that make up this series. And together, hopefully, we will lay a clear plan for what Hashem wants from us as B'nai Torah in the workplace. A plan which will lay out for us how to be financially successful in the workplace. Flourish there. That Torah in our life can also flourish and remain central and crucial to every single thing that we do. And ultimately together I think we will see that Hashem does not view work as just a place where you go to make a living but an incredible arena for Avodah Hashem.